Pepper says, are you ready to decorate for Christmas? I know I am. For the month of November, you have seen me go through all of the Christmas totes, declutter a lot of it, and now we're finally here. It is time to start decorating. And we pulled the first bin up, which is going to go onto the fireplace. And of course, this mantle needs to be wiped down before we put any of the decor on. Now, all the pieces that I'm using, we already have. I did not buy anything, but look, the lights are out. Doesn't that happen every year? They work when you put them away, but not the following year. But luckily, because we did that decluttering, I know these two sets of lights work. And of course, I had to snap a picture of Miss Pepper because she looked so beautiful with the lights on her. But this is why it pays to declutter because I didn't run out to go get new lights. I knew that I already had working Christmas lights because I went through everything and all the decorations and I know what I already have. And I have a lot of decorations, let's be real. I'm definitely not a minimalist style decorator. I'm definitely on the Maximus side, but that's cause I love it. And speaking of love it, yes, we did get Pepper her own personalized stocking. This is the only Christmas thing that I bought this year because it was so cute and it made the boys so happy. But that would be considered the only Christmas decor that we're purchasing this season because look at all the beautiful decorations that we already have. The fireplace looks absolutely beautiful, all lit up with everything that we had each and every year. And this is the mindset that I want to be in. I want to be in this abundance mindset. There's no need for me to rush to Hobby Lobby and be tempted to buy all this new Christmas decor, especially with these overinflated prices. If there was ever a time to start doing no spend challenges, now would be the time. And no spend challenges don't have to be about scarcity and sacrificing new things. We can be in this mindset of enjoying it because this light is beautiful. That tree is from the 70s, it's vintage and it's so cool. And it's funny how they're now back in style. And yes, Miss Pepper is such a good kitty. She does not bother with the decorations. She's very curious about it. And she actually likes it because she can kind of hide behind it for when she sees the birdies and the squirrels. And now we have the bay window all ready and all set. Could I add more to it? Sure, but you know what? I do love how this turned out. And I got plenty of supplies if I wanna add more. Now we're going to move into the kitchen and my shelves because right now they are very empty. So of course I have my kitchen Christmas bin and I have to admit that being organized also saves you a lot of money because I already have all the pieces that go on these shelves. Now, please forgive me. I didn't realize when I set up the tripod that it was a little crooked. So my shelf is straight on the wall, but in this video, yes, it looks off centered. So sorry about that. But hey, sometimes we can chuckle about our imperfections because after all, that's what makes us human. So again, I just love decorating. It, it makes me very happy and I like doing it with a lot of decorations. It's just another form of artwork for me. I'll always be a maximalist when it comes to decorating. And that is okay for me because that's what I enjoy. And other people, they enjoy a more minimalistic thing. And that's okay. It's honoring what each and every one of us enjoy with our holiday traditions. I think that's why watching Decorate With Me videos is so soothing because I love seeing how everybody decorates their home for the holidays, for their family and friends. And you also get a few ideas from other people and tweak it to adjust to your taste and traditions too. Next is our Christmas tree. Yes, it is artificial and it's also our first year with Pepper with the tree. So let's see how she does this year. Now, camera shy hubby has already put the pole up and I do see that I still have some fall remnants in here. So we got to put that away. 
but everything is contained right in this bin. We got the tree skirt, we got all the branches, we also have the Christmas lights, and of course the instructions so that we know where the branches go. Now, traditionally, me and Brandon put the branches together, but he's become a little camera shy too. So I just recorded the progression we were making each time we added a couple rolls to it. And Miss Pepper seems to be loving the tree. Hubby put the lights on. He also put the star. We don't have any of the ornaments yet because it was getting late. And I have so many ornaments that it normally does take me at least two hours to put them on, but that's okay because I absolutely love doing it. Now I'm going to be moving into the December no spend challenge. Now I do have some more decorating to do, of course, but I just realized that December is this week already. So I wanted to make sure that I had the no spend challenge ready so we can start it this Thursday. Now, this is the first time I've ever done a no spend December challenge. I was honestly kind of afraid of it because I thought I was going to set myself up for failure. So why go through that heartbreak? But after really thinking about it, it's probably the best time to do a no spend challenge. December is when I am blowing through money every day buying things that I think I need or I think I forgot somebody because I didn't really plan it out. And then I have all of that buyer's remorse in January when you see just how much you spent. So I am creating this December no spend challenge just so I can pick a few days that I spend absolutely no money so that I can just be mindful of that habit. And if I feel like I need something, Maybe I'll pause to see, can I create it myself or do I already have it on hand? Because most of the time, that answer is yes. And what's very important is that I'm not going to put pressure on myself either. Now, this is what my new spend November looked like and we did fabulous, but that's because I tweaked it. I colored in the days that I spent no money on once. But if I did fill up my tank with gas or if I did have to go grocery shopping, I still colored in the days. I believe most people do it like this where they have their no spends, but it doesn't count for bills, gas, or groceries. And I see why, because you can actually fill in more days in and that kind of boost your confidence where I made it as absolutely no money was spent that day because I was trying to recover from my shopping addiction. So honestly, you got to do what works for you. And this is our December no spend challenge. Woohoo! First time doing it. And I'm going to do it like I did November. I am going to color in the days that I spend absolutely no money on the extras. But if I do fill my tank up with gas, or if I do go big grocery shopping, that does not count. It's still a no spend day. So I'm going to color that in. The goal for this month, is to plan out the weeks and not spend money every single day due to impulsive shopping, last minute gift ideas. We are going to be planning this out a lot better to help save money. And my abundance rules for this month is enjoy Christmas decor I have, stay within a Christmas budget, take my own Christmas card photos with the tripod, make sure that it's level now, craft, some gifts, and also enjoy the family time. The goal that I made was 10 out of 31 days because I wanted to feel achievable and that I can do it. And if you would like a copy of the December No Spend Challenge, please email me at hoardersheart at gmail.com and I will send you a printable PDF. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to just truly be in the season and seeing how blessed we are and how abundant we are with all the beautiful decorations that we have. And I also hope that the No Spend Challenge is going to be a helpful tool for you this December to help save money. And also, I would love to hear in the comments below, what are your Christmas traditions that you love the most? Because by reading them, I feel like it just brings us closer 
together. My hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you today too.